What's the scoop on Rodgers? We're uh, eight days away from the mandatory mini camp, and all eyes peeled there. What do you think we're eyes peeled for? How about the the Mark Murphy column from <laughs> Saturday? And and it really is stunning. He wasn't even asked a question about Aaron Rodgers, and he answers a question that isn't even about Aaron Rodgers by saying. The Aaron Rodgers situation has divided our fan base. And, oh, by the way, we have chosen to not address the situation publicly, Yeah, except coming out and saying that the situation has divided the fan base. I, I think that the Packers realize that Rodgers' biggest fear is having the fans turn on him. And, I, look, that, that, those things weren't written accidentally or extemporaneously. This was planned, this was read, this was revised, this is a deliberate message from the Packers to Rodgers and everyone else. And I think what they're trying to do is get Rodgers to realize the fans are already turning. And they're daring him to not show up. Because I think what the fans have done, Rich, ever since the stuff that bubbled up around the draft and it lasted for a few days, the fans had some consternation, at least those who like to yell at me via email and Twitter, <laughs> But then they kind of settled down. And I think their attitude is, we won't believe it till we see it. So the moment he doesn't show up, whether it's for the mandatory minicamp or training camp, the moment he doesn't show up, that's when it goes to DEFCON 1 for Packers fans. And, and I think that Mark Murphy's trying to make sure Rodgers realizes that. And I think deep down, frankly, if I'm Mark Murphy, too, and I don't know that I disagree with this mindset, I think deep down he wants him to not show up. We'll get wow. $30 million plus. We'll trade him next March anyway. And we get a year to figure out what we have in Jordan Love. I don't know. I mean, well, I, I find that interesting that you say, again, you're referring to uh, a monthly column that Murphy writes for Packers.com. The situation we face with Aaron Rodgers has divided our fan base, he wrote. The emails and letters that I've received reflect this fact. And he said, as I wrote here last month, we remain committed to resolving things with Aaron and want him to be our quarterback in 2021 and beyond. That's an interesting addendum we are working to resolve the situation and realize that the less both sides say publicly the better but except that the fan base has decided it's uh, divided. I mean, uh-huh. beautiful about it i mean they they are they are twisting the knife in aaron Rodgers with this they really are well and, i mean it's because he's gonna twist it back well i mean his 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 whole conversation i don't know if you were on after it or if we haven't talked about it his whole conversation with kenny main was essentially to just turn the the heat up on Gutekunst to kick the can down the road, not be committal, not say, not give anything that makes it seem like he's not coming back, not make anything seem like he is. Um, talking about the people and the organization not not uh, putting stock in the people. And now here's Mark Murphy talking about the people who email. Who are the Packer fans who email him saying, stick to your guns <laughs> with Brian like Gutekunst? His email address. You know and, what I mean? Like, and, who's, who's and, that person? And again, I, my own experience is it's not the case. They're not red state, blue state yet. They could be. <sighs> they could be if he doesn't show up. But I, I think that they decided collectively, at least based upon the things I've noticed, and I, I get interactions in many different formats, I've just noticed a sense that it's wait and see because why get Ben out of shape when he has yet to fail to show up for anything mandatory? And, Rich, well, we haven't talked since – Aaron was on with Kenny Maine. Mm-hmm. The, the thing that, that really resonated with me when Aaron said that, that uh, he threw a wrench in their, their plan, yes. and I'm paraphrasing, yep. when he won the MVP last year, he believes, he believes, right or wrong, that they were going to flip from him to Jordan Love after the 2020 season, and that but for him winning the MVP, that's what the plan was they were going to implement. That's what he believes. I, I, I would agree with him if he believes that. Hey, you watched all the way to the end. Thanks for that. Watch more right here.